Oh my goodness, look at all the whitetail. This is one zone, guys. Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and you got it, we are back in Revontuli Coast and today we're gonna be doing a whitetail setup guide for the Great One Grind. Today we're gonna be looking at how to find your zones. Stick around right to the end of the video, guys. I will share a hotspot map with you showing you exactly where all of my zones are. Your zones won't be exactly the same, but they should be in the same general area so that should help you to find all of your whitetail zones here in Revon Thule. So basically, we're gonna go through everything you need to do to set up and get your whitetail grind going here in Revon Thule in today's video. Now, if you do enjoy the video, guys, or learn anything at all, go ahead and smash that like button. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much for that, and we're gonna head straight into it. Let me know in the comments, guys, how much do you love Revon Thule Coast? What has been your experience with it so far? And what's your favorite map for hunting whitetail? I think Revon on Thule, quite honestly, is now the best whitetail map. Like, look at these herds. This is one zone. And as you can see with the last update, and it's not just here in Revon Thule, it is on all the maps, whitetail and other animals are drinking much closer, even in the water, so they are much easier to see. They're not up in the trees. It's delightful. So here in Revon Thule Coast, whitetail drink from 8 or 8.30 until 12 or 12.30. So we have a good four hour drink zone, which is very sweet. In Rancho, you only get three hours. So that is definitely a bonus of doing your grind here in Revon Thule. So the first step in any grind is the most difficult and that is finding all of your whitetail zones. Now I understand here in Revon Thule, we should have around 65 zones. Now I do not have 65 zones yet. I am in the mid fifties, so I have some more zone finding to do. But the more zones you can find before you start your grind, the better. I would say once you get towards around 60 zones, it's probably safe to start your grind, but if you don't get respawns, that is the game telling you go and find more zones. That is an important tip. Now, basically, if we look at the map here, guys, you're gonna find whitetail just about on every lake on the, I would say, top 70% of the map. If I were to draw a line, now I am gonna share a hotspot map with you, so that is definitely coming, but just to show you real quick right here those are white tails so if i were to draw a line just under here it would go like this up like this through here i have seen white tail on this lake and right through there there will be no white tail on the bottom here so don't worry about these lakes down here you don't need to look for white tail there they are not going to be there but i do have white tail over here right there and right over there so Finding your whitetail zones is a huge job. It is going to take you many hours. And one tip I can give you is once you do find zones in a certain area, the zones don't necessarily all show up at the same time. So when you do find zones on a lake, it is always a good idea. Oh, that's a big one. That's a pretty boy. There is a diamond potential. I find that you do need to double check certain areas, a lot of different areas, because there is a good chance you will find more zones when you go back. Now, when you are looking for zones, pick Pick up tracks, follow them. If you do run into whitetail, don't shoot them. You want to find their zone. Now, it is a good idea to not even bother shooting them until you actually have found all your zones set up and you know where you are going to be shooting. You don't want to be farming every zone and it's not even possible to do that. It's not even possible to farm every single zone, but what you're going to want to do is set up your tents and tripods at lakes that are the quickest to access, the most wide open, and you wanna be able to get to multiple zones with one tent if you can. So we have two zones right here. So I have a tent here. I have not dropped my tripods yet, but I am going to do that very, very soon. Now, if you don't have tripods yet, guys, tents are the most important. Start with your tents and you can add tripods as you go. Tents and tripods are 16,000 in-game dollars, so they're not cheap. I believe 16 tents and 16 tripods will run, what about $512,000 if my math is correct? And you're gonna need more than 16 tripods, but the good news is as long as you shoot carefully, you can get away without the tripods, at least when you start. So for example, guys, when you 
do find Whitetail traveling just like this right here. Follow him until he gets right into his zone. Pick up that need zone. Try not to spook them while they're traveling. And this is a great way to pick up your zones. Now the other way is just simply running the lakes, spotting absolutely everywhere. And when you do look at the map, guys, Remember that this part here, the lighter blue around the edges, that is actually water. The water goes all the way out there, so you need to check right out to the edge of all these types of areas of water. This is definitely a hot spot I would highly recommend setting up in the top right corner, especially the top third of the map is absolutely fantastic for whitetail, and most of the lakes up here have multiple zones. Now I have four zones in this spot. This is top right hand corner, and I think this is two zones. Look at all the whitetail, oh my goodness. Now this spot, you will wanna have tripods because you wanna be very careful not to blow your zones out. And as you can see, they're very, very close together. So you really do need to have tripods. Now with the tripods, guys, anytime you're not using a hunting structure, you can only kill three of any one species from a zone and the fourth will kill the zone. But when you're using a tripod, you can kill 15 and the 16th kill will then kill the zone. Now, because these zones are so close together, the hunting pressure will overlap. And if you're not using a tripod, you can kill three from this zone. But then when you kill one from this zone, because they're so close together, it will delete both of the zones. Depending on how big the hunting pressure is, it may take out all four zones here. So be careful with that. So that is where we are right there. Awesome spot. You don't even need to have a tent. So that outpost is Onella Moki. Okay guys, let's talk about tent placement and tripod placement. So what I like to do is drop my tent about 250 meters away from the zone that I am accessing. Then I like to drop my tripods, which unfortunately are not showing on the maps right now, guys. That is a bug from the last update. Hopefully it gets fixed soon, but I like to drop my tripods 175 meters away from the zone. And the reason for that is that way I can run right into the tripod, not have to slow down, jump right in and start shooting. And the deer know none Nonetheless, they remain calm. Now, where you put your tents and tripods is gonna be different from where I put mine because you are going to have different zones for me for the most part. So as you can see, look how wide open it is here. It is beautiful. You can see absolutely everything. Now, this is an amazing spot right here. This lake has three whitetail zones. One, two, three. And if it is at all possible, guys, you wanna be able to use your tents and tripods for more than one zone. And that's just gonna save you cash and of course, we only do have 16 tents. We really could use a lot more. So try to set your tents up where you can access the most amount of zones possible because we have a full four hour drink time and you wanna get through as many zones as you can in that one rotation. Okay, so for example, this would be a great spot for me to put a tripod. I have one zone of whitetail right here. I might be a little close, so I might move back a little. And I have another zone right here and another zone right over here. So choosing to set up on a lake that has multiple zones, that is definitely what you want to do. So this is where we are right here by Trolls Kettle. Now you can actually find your whitetail zones after whitetail time has finished. Their need zone indicator should stay on the map for at least another three hours and you just need to pick up that need zone indicator to pick up that zone. That ding is what you're looking for. So guys, this right here is a need zone indicator for whitetail. So just picking this up even after whitetail have finished drinking. Right now it is 1351, so they stop this particular zone at 1230. They will stay on the map for several hours after the time is finished. And this is what you're looking for after the fact. That will definitely give you the zone. And I have found many zones by picking up the need zone indicators. And if you do find whitetail rest zones, definitely look where you are. You're going to have a drink zone at any of the water sources close by when you do find a rest or feed zone for whitetail. There are other zones, don't go far from where they drink. But once you have this done, this is the hard part, at least it is for me. The fun part is getting to the grind. And once you are set up, then you can figure out which spots you wanna farm and basically that's gonna be by trial and error. You wanna set up at the best lakes where you can find the most zones in the shortest amount of time. You wanna get through as many zones as you can, as I mentioned before, in your four hour drink time. And then what I am going to do is I am going to kill two bucks from every zone. They seem to respawn really, really well that way. Now I know some people like to kill the entire zone down that you get 
full fresh herds, and I think that works as well. But I don't like to mess with need zones because when they disappear, man, they can be a pain in the neck to find again. Very, very time consuming, and it can mess with your respawns. So that is why I will only be shooting two bucks, the two biggest ones from every herd. Then I run over, harvest them. Now, if you are taking really, really far shots, you may want to have a tent on both sides so that you can quickly pick them up because speed is the name of the game. So this is a good example of how to use a tent for multiple zones. So I've dropped my tent here. I actually have two white tail zones up here and I have two over here. So I can just use this tent to access all four of those zones and just run over and pick them up. So that is definitely how you wanna set up if at all possible. And as you go through your grind guys, you can definitely refine your setups to make them work better for you. You want this to be as efficient as possible. So basically, once you are set up, guys, you found all your zones, you're set up with tents and tripods, now it's time for the fun part. Now it's time to jump from zone to zone, kill your top two bucks, do this over and over and over and over again. When you run out of time, just set the time back. Usually what I do is set it back to about 8.45. And the reason I do that is because the zones either start at 8 or 8.30. And by changing it till after 8.30, I have the best chance of everything being in their zone every zone has started to drink. So I actually turn the time back. I do leave the game and come back. That seems to get the deer into their zones faster. You don't have to do that, but I do find that it helps. And rinse and repeat. Do this over and over and over again. You will end up with diamonds. You will end up with rares. And eventually you should end up with the great one whitetail. And I really hope that this does help you guys with your great one grind here in Revon Tule Coast. Now let's have a look at that map. Okay guys, so I have put an X on every single white tail drink zone that I have found in Revon Tuli. Now I'm pretty sure I'm still missing five to 10 zones, so this won't be all of them, but they are not easy to find. I would say that this took me at least 12 hours. Now the zones at the very top, those are my absolute favorite because they are the most easily visible. So I hope that helps you to find your zones and I will post this to my Discord for you guys to easily reference and I'll leave the link below the video. That's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, guys. You guys are awesome, and we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.